All right. This Sunday is the 26th, and we start the first corporate sprint about building your holding company, getting your operating company. What we're going to do is I'll be live to answer your questions Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then next week, we go into June, July, and I'll hold a corporate sprint for the YouTube course. So I'll be available to answer your questions. So what you want to do is go ahead, go below. The information will be in the first comment so you can go ahead and get into the first corporate sprint. Get into the corporate citizen playbook before the price goes up. All right, so let's get into this video. This morning, I got a, a strange comment talking about um, how you cannot use sales to get rich because the rich have all the money and the rich will price you out and the rich will not let you um, do the things you need to do to be successful in business. And I'm getting ready to do a series of videos on this topic because this person was in essence a clown and he's no longer has access to the platform because one of the things that I believe and let's kind of get back into the, the higher topics. The secrets that the rich have that they don't want you to, this video is gonna be literally dripping with sarcasm because th this whole thought process that, number one, if you know certain things and you don't know certain things, that's going to prevent you from getting rich. Um, I, I like it. I, I liken it to it's Daniel Mack who goes up and asks all of these people who are driving really nice cars, "Hey, you got a nice car? What do you do? To, you know, this this information." Now, I got, I got, I got a challenge for you. If you went to medical school, became a doctor and went through the process of having a residency and a fellowship, and you had your own doctor's office, would you be making more money than the average person? Put that in the comments. Because this is this, this whole notion of having information, having information, and being able to be in possession of this information, hence, the secrets, because there, there's a ton of videos, secrets that banks don't want you to know, secrets that the rich don't want you to know, secrets, and I'm just sitting here like, is it really these secrets that are holding you back, or it's your own apathy? Because, you know, I, I look at this stuff, and like I said, this video is gonna be dripping with sarcasm, because if you feel that Let's go ahead and talk about the founders of Mercedes-Benz. Did Mercedes-Benz have a secret or did they establish a factory that produced cars? BMW, did they have a secret or they produced a factory that makes cars? Porsche, did they have a secret? You, you see where I'm going. It's not so much the secrets that are the problem. The issue is you have a lot of people who do not want to do things. That's the issue because this person, uh, he, once again, I don't even know why he was watching his channel. He watched multiple videos. He left comments on multiple videos and he just literally wanted to fight with me with this information and I gave him a pretty stern rebook. I like stop whining and get to work because he, here's the thing, the secrets of the rich, the secrets, like having this information, got a case for you. If your doctor has to perform surgery on you, let's go ahead through the whole process. So your doctor has information that you do not know. Your doctor knows how to cut you open, 
and to go inside your body and repair things. Now, let's say you're sick, right? And you go to your doctor and your doctor knows he has these secrets, but he doesn't perform surgery on you. What's going to happen? Your problem is just going to get worse and more than likely you will die. So even though the doctor has these secrets, unless the doctor actually schedules you for surgery, sets you up on an appointment and actually performs the surgery on you, even though the doctor has this secret and you have this problem, unless the doctor performs surgery on you, none's going to happen except bad things for you. So I, I use that to illustrate this whole notion of the secrets, the secrets of the best copywriters, the secrets, because th this, this whole notion that if you were to suddenly know these things without actually learning these things and taking benefit of actually doing the things, how are these secrets, because you know, because I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a nerd, right? I'm an intellectual nerd, I'm a nerd. And I love to study things I've never done. But more importantly, like I just said with the doctor, the doctor has these secrets and you have this problem if the doctor doesn't take you into an emergency room or take you into the surgical suite to perform surgery on you, even though the doctor has these secrets and he could sit down and he could tell you exactly what he's going to do from a surgical perspective. But if he doesn't perform surgery on you, you're still going to die. So even though he will sit down and tell you step by step what they're going to do, what they're going to, how they're going to fix it and explain it to you in great detail. Now you have the secret, but unless surgery happens, you're going to die. And th this is one of the things that I consistently see is the secrets, like the secrets of the rich, the habits of the rich. And I'll, I'll liken it to when I went and bought my Porsche and I was talking to the salesman and I asked him some questions. It was really, he said, I said, and this is what the salesperson said. He said, the average person who comes in here and can pay cash for a Porsche, they're dressed like you. It's like, he said, like the people who come in who are very flashy, who have, he said, a lot of times their credit's bad. So knowing the secret and actually, because once again, it's about taking this information. Now, I will not differ or have a different opinion. There's some that's called high value information. And you take this information. Once again, let's go to the stock market. Let's say you have some high value information. You know that this company's stock is going to go up. You know this. You have this secret that the stock is going to go up. Now, you know this. But unless you go ahead and commit money to buy the stock, the secret is not going to benefit you at all. You, you see where I'm going? See, that's the thing, because I, I see all these videos like the secrets, the rich. And I got a question. Who are the rich? Who exactly are these rich people who are meeting in a secret room to conspire to keep you poor? Who are these people? Because I'm about to tell you why the average person is poor. And I'll give you a great example of this using something that a lot of people love, TikTok. A lot of people love TikTok to be able to create short form content. Put this out. Do you know that TikTok lost seven billion last year? Do you know that Facebook Reels is losing money and Instagram is losing money? The only platform that's running shorts that's not losing money is YouTube because shorts are just a part of the YouTube experience. YouTube has a larger ticket, all right? So, but once again, let's get back into it. People love TikTok. They love to create TikToks. They love to make these short form videos, but there's no money in it. And I know there are many of you, it's like, yeah, 
you can go ahead and create some short form content. And you can make a lot of money. Really? I got a question for you. And please put this in the comment section. If you, shorts were the best way for advertisers to advertise their products and services, why are the majority, like 99% of YouTube ads are longer than the tech, you know, a TikTok? Because now TikTok's been experimenting. TikTok's trying to do long form content, but TikTok is known for short form content, right? And then you can do videos up to 10 minutes on TikTok. Uh, and at that point, TikTok will start competing with YouTube. And in long form content, long form video, there's no one that can compete with YouTube at the moment. I don't think if, you know, because TikTok built its reputation on short form content. I'm going somewhere with this. Stick with me. And if they were to certainly go to long form content, they would be in trouble. And how do I know that they're in trouble? Remember Vaughn? Vaughn went out of business because they ran out of money. So we're going to see what happens with TikTok because there's a lot of talk that TikTok's going to get banned and all this other stuff, but TikTok may run out of money. All right, so right now you have a bunch of content creators who are living on short form content. And the biggest TikTok creator is the guy who has his palms out. He only made $540,000 from TikTok ads, TikTok, and he has like 18 billion views. Last year on YouTube with, I, I don't even know, I have to look at the numbers, but way less, I mean, probably less than 300,000 views. I made $83,000. If I had 3 million views, I would have made 800. I would have made more than TikTok's largest content creator. What's it? Stick with me. I'm going somewhere here. So right now you have a bunch of people who are creating short form content because it's fun. It's easier to create than long form content, right? And they're building whole YouTube channels off the short form content. And what they're going to find out that it doesn't pay. It just simply doesn't pay. So you have people out here who are practicing witchcraft that doesn't work. And this is why the average person will never be rich because they don't want to do the work to become rich. Once again, we've got all of these secrets, all this knowledge, right? But in the middle is taking action and without the process of taking action you can have all of these secrets in your head you could be sitting on all of these secrets and you can have all this knowledge but without the application phase these secrets will not do you a bit of good and one of the things like hopefully you've answered like who are these rich people who are literally meeting in a secret headquarters to keep you poor. Uh, that was what the, the, the commenter was going like. The rich are trying to keep you poor and they'll outprice you and all this other stuff. And once again, I asked, them, who, who are these rich people? Let me go ahead and explain something to you. And go ahead and Google the average home price in zip code 30327. I live next door to, not next door, but I live in the neighborhood with Dr. J. Um, I lived in the neighborhood, God, he was a quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was black. I can't think of his name. He lived in that neighborhood. Theo Radcliffe. Uh, I've lived around a bunch of really, really rich people. And this is what I think that really rich people think about. They think about themselves and they think about their families and they think about their wives and children. And the thought of you out here struggling, I don't even think you enter their mind. I don't even think, I don't even think you're on the radar. I don't even think they even acknowledge that you exist because there's all this thoughts process because it, it will see in this video, the rich, want you to be poor so you'll work for them and you'll have to work for them and 
I think that a lot of this conversation is misguided and it's really harmful to actually sit down and think that the reason that you do not have any money is that this man who's making this content, this man who is just sitting out there, he's just making all this money, and he wants you to be poor so he can make all this more money. And I've had people talk about, well, there are corporations out there that definitely want you to be poor. I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. So once again, I said this video would be dripping with sarcasm because this whole notion of the rich know the rich folks' secrets, these secrets of the rich. And without hard work, like if you go to the Mars family, they make candy bars, see? And they've been making candy bars 90 years, 100 years, something like that. What's their secret? Oh, we produce a factory that makes candy and we sell the candy in the stores. What's so secretive about that? What's so secretive about that? Because one of the things that cracks me up, if you're sitting around here railing off that somehow, Someone who's better off financially than you has done things to the system and the system is designed to keep you poor. Uh, once again, I, I just don't believe in that. <laughs> I just like once again, and this is one of the reasons that I reset the channel, reset my training, reset everything because this whole notion of rich are trying to keep you poor, trying to keep you poor, trying to keep you broke, trying to keep you in a situation where you don't have no money. It's, 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 it's just not a normal and real thing. It's just not. But once again, there are so many people, because I put up a video talking about why you need to learn the sales process. And in the future, I'm going to do a video how learning how to sales changed my life. Wasn't the secrets of the rich, the secrets of the rich. Because, you know, this whole notion of, because this is why I think uh, it's Daniel Mack. I'm going to say this as carefully as I can. I wanted a nice car and I sat down and I created a system and a process that would give me the money so I could go out and buy my own car. That's what I think of the Daniel Max channel, that I'm not, I will not sit around and be watching people. You know what's funny? Um, I'm not a fan of Rolls Royce, and Rolls Royce is an amazing car. It's a beautiful car, it's a powerful car. I would never own a Rolls Royce. You want to know why? Because I like driving. I like sporty cars. I like cars that grip the road. So unless things just change, I'll probably never have a Rolls Royce. Probably not. Even though it's a fantastic, nice car. But one of the things that you guys have got to understand, stop believing in this nonsense. Yes, it's absolute nonsense that the rich are keeping you poor. It's your own lack of good habits, your own process, your own craving to be comfortable. That's what's keeping you poor. It's not the secrets of the rich. That just, every time I just sit there and I think about this, I'm like, the secrets of the rich. It, it just cracks me up when I sit down and I think about it. And I, I seriously makes me wonder, are people really living in the real world or they're living in a fantasy world where blaming someone you don't know, doesn't know you, don't even think about you for the reason that you are poor. To me, that's just a waste of time. Once again, to me, that's just a waste of time. All right, my name is Glendon Cameron. Be sure to subscribe. We got a lot of stuff that's going on. 
and be sure to go ahead and get in the Corporate Citizen Playbook because we have a lot of things that are getting ready to go down.